Well, we all know there's no place like home for the holidays, right? Right. And our next guest's new movie says it best from the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries original film, Last Vermont Christmas. Please welcome Aaron Cahill. For the first time. Welcome to the home. You Thank you, this you is guys. Great. I'm so unbelievably excited to be here. I, I wanted to be this on the show for years, so I'm like, look, we're trying to calm you. down. I hope you like what we've done with the Exactly players. right. It's Thanks, all for you. guys. It's all for you. <laughs> and you know what? You've come at a good time because we've been talking about the plot of your new film yeah. and how much we love it and how much so we can sweet. all relate to it. Now, you play Megan, and Megan goes home to Vermont for the holidays to spend some time with the family like we all should. But this time, there's some big changes at home. Tell us what happens. What's going on? It's about, yeah, Megan goes home for Christmas and finds out that her parents are selling her childhood home. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, so that was a bit of a shock. And then some other um, drama ensues with uh, a, a gentleman I used to know. Right. And uh, my family. But it's just a beautiful story about a family and changes and there you guys on. are and, and, oh, yeah. and it's Justin. loosely based on a true story it is based that's on, pretty interesting on a friend's life yeah um, her name is Marie and she has two sisters and in the movie I have two sisters and so I'm playing her and the the, the other thing is the sisters came to set so oh. we all got to oh. meet, oh. meet we the real playing. life people that's awesome I love yeah. that. well I don't know if you got to meet the real life high school sweetheart <laughs> but we're going to introduce them to everyone at home because we have a clip of the movie oh. where um, your high school sweetheart returns and you quickly realize that um, he may be the one that may be buying, buying the house. Home. Awkward. A little bit. I hate it when that yeah. happens. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Marvin. Nash? Why, it's been ages. I heard you'd moved back. Hey, you know each other? Megan and Nash were close all through high school. He was over here almost every day. Oh. Well, then you must be pretty familiar with the property. It's great to see you all again. It's been way too long. Wait. You're buying our house. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're buying it. Why didn't you mention this yesterday? I'm sorry. I tried to, but... Are you okay? I'm fine. But I mean, it is a little weird though, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> awkward is right! Yeah. A little awkward. I mean, I gotta point out the fact that I worked with Justin for years over at All My Children. He's a, he's a buddy of mine from no. back in the day. And he, you, know, isn't he great? Isn't he oh, amazing? Justin Bruning has gotta be one of the best actors I've worked with on and oh, off camera. He's such a sweetheart he's too. He's such a yeah. sweetheart. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Yeah. yeah, and it's funny, we knew each other before this movie. Oh. Really? Yeah, we had worked together on a movie a hundred years ago, and so when I got cast, they wouldn't tell me who they were thinking <laughs> of to, to do it with, with me, and all of a sudden I get a text, he's like, hey, you want to catch up over Christmas in Vermont? And I was like, shut up! Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. That is that's, so that's cool. Fantastic. And something tells me, you know, if he does buy the house in the movie, you kind of win anyway. Right? Right? right I think that is exactly It's a win-win. You know, speaking of, I think we can all relate to that story. That's why Absolutely. it's so heartwarming to all of us, because... You know, I think we all still have nostalgic feelings about that first home that we grew yes. up in. I know I do from my home in Virginia, and I know you're my Virginia sister yes. too, and you do too. I know you think about that childhood home you grew up in, don't you? I not only think about it, you guys, I still have dreams set in my childhood home. Oh, wow. Where, and, and for a long time, it was like things were happening and I couldn't save my family, but then I turned it around. So it's like dreams where I saved my family in our childhood home. Oh, it's I love really that. so interesting, but it's such a part of my psyche. Because right. it was the same house for 18 years I grew up in. You, you got to like talk to somebody about what that dream Me, I mean, there's a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> <a> superhero. <laughs> yeah. Something, something. I mean, you're right. A lot of people, I mean, I still remember leaving my childhood home too, for sure. I know, and driving yeah. away and being like, I'll never live oh, here again. And it's that a big deal. Feeling. You were saying a sweet story. Yes, no, it's true. Yeah, I remember the moment pulling out of the driveway, my parents on the driveway, arm in arm, they were crying. We knew oh. that it was not going to be safe. And that really ties it. I think people at home can relate to that, you know, saying goodbye to their child at home. Yeah. So this, this movie is going to relate to a lot of people for, for sure. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, relatable. Now in real life, uh, you are creating new memories with your a musician husband, Paul, of yes. course. Yes, you guys. And this is really interesting. <laughs> and you guys have to, t you have to tell the story because oh. you, you sort of fell in love over FaceTime before you even had a, like a real in-person date. We did, we did. Ours, it's a, we were saying earlier, ours is, that's a picture of our wedding. Uh, we got married in the south of France, just oh outside of gosh, Nice. Oh gosh, what? We lucked into this place, you guys. We 
found it online and they'd never done a wedding. Wow. They'd only done one birthday celebration there. So we were like winging a prayer, found out the um, chateau had a 13th or 14th century chapel in it that we didn't find out till like two weeks before we went. We were oh just gonna get married goodness. on one of the lawns. It was magical. Oh my goodness, your it love was, story was meant to be from the beginning. It really from was. From FaceTime until that 18th yeah. century chapel. Yeah, it was, it really, I mean, <laughs> it was, century, yeah, whatever it was, I it could have been 18th century, but I'm somewhere, somewhere <laughs> old. Um, but yeah, he's just amazing. But we fell in love on FaceTime. We really genuinely did. He was on tour and we started emailing and I actually, he was asking about me and I, I was so like, well, when are you gonna ask me on a date? So I emailed him and I said, I heard you wanna take me on a date. And then we started emailing back and forth like old timey love letters. We were like, it's like a proper old timey romance. Oh, and then we started FaceTiming, which then became a modern romance. Right. We, and, right? and then we genuinely said, I love you over FaceTime. I <gasps> called him my boyfriend. We were for two and a half months fully fell in love. And oh then gosh, how wow. we had never been on a date and he flew into LAX and I showed up with a balloon and olive juice because like we said, I love you. Like he said, I love you first. And then he was like, oh, I said uh, olive juice. So I showed up. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna use that. I was You're wondering funny. how you were gonna get to olive juice. <laughs> oh gosh, I, love that. I was like, how are we getting to <laughs> olive That's juice so here? Funny. That's funny. Yeah. That's so, you know, like, Right, so it's like right. if you mouth that it looks like I love you. Oh, so, really so cute. we would always send each other like olive emojis and the, those little donuts. Because one time he said, "I love you, I love you more than um, people love donuts." So it, it, I showed up at the airport with the balloon and and a donut, like from that looked just like the emoji and olives and like ran. Okay, you to do him. realize you're writing a Hallmark story. <laughs> I mean, so this could be a Hallmark movie in the making, and in every Hallmark movie, you know, we have baking, which and DIYs. Which leads me to my yeah, next question. Which is a perfect segue. You are, you are serious about the holidays, you and your husband, and you're serious about your DIYs, so much so that you've <laughs> actually stayed up all night long to do a holiday DIY. This is a true story. Yeah. I was filming on another project, and I had just a late schedule, and we had one night to do this gingerbread house, and I was so excited. I was like, babe, to have some coffee, please stay up. So we stayed up till like 2 or 3 a.m. when I got home, and we made the gingerbread house in that gingerbread wow. house. beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Art, it was really. worth yeah. staying up all night for. Yeah. Thanks, you that guys. That is beautiful. That's a work of art. Yeah, the, the <laughs> trick is extra candy. We had so much candy because they had made them that day on set, like the makeup department had made them. Yeah. So they sent me home with all this extra oh, candy. So you had plenty of supplies. The yeah. timing was insane. Because the it. truth is you don't really eat the gingerbread house, so you have to eat the accoutrements that exactly. go on. Exactly. There the you go. You see the well accoutrements. Said, well said, French. Debbie. I'm going French. back to your French wedding. Merci yeah. beaucoup, yeah. Erin. Thank you. That's right. We, merci. I'm supposed to be the French one here. Congratulations on the film. Thanks for being here. Thank Sweet you. stories, too. Aww. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. Great. Last Vermont Christmas Great. premieres Monday, November 19th at 9 p.m., 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.